Okay. So for the glands, don't get confused with this like large circle. It's just the masseter. Like I don't think you need to know that one, but this is nothing you need to know. This largest one. It's the smaller ones you need to know. So. Let's see. So behind it, like back here, that would be this would be the uh, parotid. So like this is the parotid gland. It's a little cut over here, but like this thing. Then you would have submaxillary, and then sublingual is the smaller one, kind of like below his chin. This is sublingual, submaxillary, parotid, and then if he puts a pin here, it's, uh, what's that called? Uh, molar. Molar. Mm -hmm. But it's like right next to his corner of his mouth. So this is, I can't really distinguish what, it's probably even not, it's probably even this, but it's like underneath. This is molar, sublingual, submaxillary, parotid. It's really easy. Um, this male cat has a really good um, body wall still attached. So the one thing he could definitely test you on this cat is the inguinal canal, which is, yeah. Can I post this? Yeah. Oh no, my pages are. So the body wall, if it's still intact, the spermatic cord from the testes runs through the body wall. So, if you can see, here's the testes, and here's the spermatic cord, this thing. And it actually goes in here, and you can see when I do this, it like kind of moves. Because it's going right through the wall. So the canal that it runs through is the inguinal canal. So technically, it's really hard to see from this angle, but if he puts a pin in here, that's going into the wall, it's inguinal canal. If he asks you what the whole thing is, probably closer to the testes, the whole thing itself is spermatic cord. But it's composed of different things. So inside, like, the whole spermatic cord is made up of the um, spermatic artery and spermatic vein, and then the vas deferens, which is that white tape looking thing. So the white tape thing in this cat, it's really hard to see because it's not as white, but it's like the white part next to the red. But in other cats, you'll see it's very white. Kind of looks like floss. And then this red is the spermatic artery, and then this blue is the spermatic vein. So it's pretty easy. And um, what was the white part again? The white is the bad deferens. Um, and then this, the ball, like the inside of the ball is the testes, but it has the epididymis, which is kind of like, if you imagine like the thicker part of like the outer part of the ball. So like, it's really hard to see on this one. But like, imagine that like when you cut it open, like there's actually a thicker part, and that's the epididymis. Like it's kind of like usually it's like thicker like that, and that's epididymis. But the inside, like the actual inside part, is the testes. So the epididymis, it's easier to test when he looks at it from the outside because it's technically like the outer part, and um, it's opposite of what you think because the head would be like the bottom. So. The, if he points to here, it's probably the head of the epididymis. If he points to like the middle part, it's the body of the epididymis. And if he points to the top part connecting to the spermatic cord, it's the tail. So head, body, tail of the epididymis. Then, you have to be really careful with this, but if you see like this is actually connecting the ball to the skin. So the ball is the testes and the skin is the scrotum. So there's actually like ligaments connecting it and that's called the gubernaculum. And in this cat, it's still attached, but in most cats, you accidentally cut it. So this is the gubernaculum. What's the gubernaculum? He's like musculature ligaments oh, okay. right here. And that's what like, um, like contracts, like brings it in, like kind of like that. And it, it's, it connects the, the, Testes to the scrotum. Testes, scrotum. The scrotum is like the sac that like sits in. So this is the gubernaculum right here. This is the only cat I've seen it in, so that's why I have to be careful with it. But like, yeah. Um, anything else? The 
pancreatic duct and the bull bug bull brand. Oh, I can't show you the stuff in this cat because. Uh, oh, there's the vas deferens. You see it? It's like really white. It's running next to the artery through the wall. That's the vas deferens, the white part. This white thing. Um, I can't show you on this cat because we need to keep the wall intact. Then you have to like get lower down to see it. But I can show you maybe on another male cat.